Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Two Days, the 5th of July. Happy Wednesday, everybody. And we're talking about all things parenting and mentoring this week. You're a parent of a child or grandchild. You're a mentor of someone that looks up to you. What does God call you to bring to the table in your leadership? Uh, we talked about this idea that we ought to treat our children and our mentees as weapons for God's use, and so we ought to train them accordingly. Uh, yesterday I talked about the power of tenderness. Today I want to talk about the power of toughness, because it is a both and, not an either or when it comes to raising kids and grandkids and loving on the people who look up to us. Yeah, you need tenderness. They need nurture. They need nourishment. But can I get a witness that uh, them children's heads is hard? And sometimes feathers won't soften them. Come on, somebody, and help me. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24. This is in the Bible, okay? It says, whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. Now, I'm not going to start. This is not a Bible verse about spanking, right? That's not, not where I'm going. The principle here is discipline. Uh, the principle here is that you understand that as a parent, as a mentor, one of the great kindnesses you'll ever give to your children is consequence. That yes, there's grace, and yes, here's another chance, and of course we all need that because that's what our Heavenly Father gave to us. But sometimes the greatest gift that a child will ever have is getting in trouble around you. It's literally getting in trouble while he or she is still under your watch. Why? Because you get to give them a just biblical consequence so that they can learn the lesson they need to learn. Because how many of you know that once they get out of the world, you won't be able to determine the consequences for their actions? But while you can now, God says, bring that discipline because you're showing love and kindness to them. And my point is this. I think there's some parents that need to learn tenderness, but there's others that need to learn toughness. I want you to YouTube this later. There's literally a sport called ballless soccer. Ballless soccer. It's literally a bunch of five-year-olds kicking an imaginary ball. Okay, so I think that speaks to where culture is going, that we so want to helicopter and control our kids and their lives that we refuse to even allow them to have the chance of being upset or disappointed or hurt or injured or having consequences in experiencing loss. Discipline is important. Three words that are going to change your parenting that have changed our parenting. Three words that are going to bless your kids. Here they go. Ready? Figure it out. Three words that are going to help, especially your teenage kid and your 20-something-year-old kid. And can I get a witness, your 60-something-year-old kid is figure it out. There are those times when God says, help them, bless them, hook them up, and praise God because parents, we love doing that. But there's other times where God says, leave them to they self and let them learn what they are refusing to learn. And the only way that can happen is if you get tough in Jesus' name. Tenderness and toughness. Kid and a mentee needs both. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.